Check it out. I've made records with a lot of people. Um, as a creative tool, like for someone to use a sample of an existing piece of music to, and then uh, uh, for their music, uh, I think I think it's extraordinarily lazy artistic choice. It's much easier to take something that is already awesome and play it again uh, with your name on it. It's sort of like like a bad dance move or something like that. You 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 think the people doing it should be embarrassed for behaving this way, you know, or. You, you think the people doing it should be self-aware enough to understand that what they're doing is cheap and, and, and easy, and everyone else can tell that it's cheap and easy. Ah, yeah. choose something else like uh, cold sweat or uh, I got the feeling or something, you know, but they chose that. So basically what you're looking for is any two bar or one bar snatch that, that, uh, of, of a drum beat that's, 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 that's funky enough that, that keeps some sort of a groove. There's going to be a time when we're going to have a nice little groove where Keith is going to be on some kind of that you put something out like that these days and... Um, you get lawyers calling you and a whole bunch of bull that goes with that. Activating the micro beam. And there's this one little moment that it all just meshes together in a nice vibration. And that became the music to Don't Believe the Hype. What was exciting about Public Enemy was the militancy of it. Like the way that Paris and Public Enemy were kind of taking Malcolm X and Black Panther speeches and recordings and sort of reanimating them. Well, of course, EMI's lawyers got wind of it. EMI 
uh, controls the sound recordings to the White Album, and uh, EMI decided that the Grey Album shall be no more. What's interesting about the Grey Album is that the artist himself didn't seem to have any interest in, in trying to uh, protest this or, or see it as a point of, uh, of which to, to, to struggle or resist. It was really fans of the work. It was other people who really cared about these issues that came in. They took the work and started posting it up online every day. It's just like composing with, like if you were to drum on pots and pans, you know? It's just finding out what sounds where and then play them, you know? When instead of a march, it may be a countdown. Three, two, one, lift off. about um, sample-based music really need to like see it happen over the course of a year. It's not, you don't just go to a store, grab one record, put it down, sample it, bang it out, and that's it. You know, like there's a process. 